Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is time for our June challenge and it's a masculine challenge. Hey, so I am using Jada Blossom's mini tag dies three, their banner dies, their star dies, the Kawaii Foods stamp set, the Frank Salat stamp set, and one of my favorites, the card mat dies. There we go. So, and I'm, I went ahead and I stamped the images already on Nina Solar White 80 pound cards dot color them with Copic markers. They will all be listed on my blog. They were cut out using my brother's scan and cut with a 0.4 border. And I'm using the Reminisce Food Truck Fest kit. And on the bottom, there's a bunch of mini papers there um, on the bottom. And I actually cut, cut the front page out and use it on my card. So that's what I was trying to show you there. So this is a piece of American Crafts yellow cardstock. And I'm using the back side so it's, you know, doesn't have the texture. And I'm going to be stamping my sentiment on there. It'll say, hot dog, it's your birthday. And there's the stamp set. You got to use the Misty always when you're doing your stamping. It'll, you know, nine times out of ten, you've got to, you know, restamp things. And, and you don't, you know, you're kind of out of luck if you're using an acrylic block. It's impossible to line that up. So a Misty is going to be your best friend. So right now I'm going to be stamping using my Versafine Claire Nocturne Ink. That's kind of my favorite sentiment stamp, um, my, sent my favorite sentiment ink. And I will go ahead and stamp that. So like I said, I already um, stamped my um, little images in Ink on 3's Blackout Ink, colored them in Copic markers, cut them out with my um, Brother Scan and Cut with a 0.4 border. There we go. Jada Blossom doesn't have outlined dies for this set yet. Otherwise, I would have used those. So there we go. I'm just going to stamp that again. And then we will have a perfect sentiment, I believe. So fun stuff. So this Jada Blossom challenge. So the challenge, challenge starts on Sunday, um, June 5th. And you have until um, Saturday... July 2nd to post your product project over on the Jada Blossom blog. We'd love to see it. So, you know, share your project with us. And like I said, you know, post it on social media, tag us, post it on our Jaded Blossoms, um, um, on our Facebook um, page, the Garden, Garden of Creativity, po share it there. We'd love to see what you create for this. There we go. So I'm using my um, see-through tape, which is kind of like a highlighter tape. And I used that and I did all my die cutting using my Gemini machine and I ran it through to cut out my die cuts. So now this is the little mini piece of paper that is that was on the bottom um, of the advertisement sheet on the front of the uh, of the paper set. And they had like little samples of each one running. And they're roughly three inches wide by like four and a half inches long. So I trimmed it out. And I'm going to apply that to the front of my card base. That card base is an A2 size pre-folded, pre-scored card from Simon Says Stamp. And it's it's kind of awesome to have a pre-folded, or all you have to do is fold it, right? It's already scored. Kind of handy. It's an A2 size vertical card. So I went and put that piece down on there using my ATG, ATG tape. So now I am adding um, a Nina Desert Storm square. That is a... That is a one and three quarter inch square cut out with the card mat dies. And then that red one is a two and three quarter inch square that's cut out of red American Crafts cardstock. The black layer there is a one and seven eighths inch piece that I just trimmed out. So it would just be an eighth of an inch larger than the Nina Desert Storm. So, you know, just to give it a little bit of punch. There we go. So easy peasy stuff. And then I will be applying this to my card base using my ATG tape again. Here we go. So like I said, all of my Copic markers will be listed on my blog. I colored these a long time ago. I had to actually go searching for the colors that I used because it was so long ago. I think I did that colored them at camp last year. Like that's how long it was. But um, yeah, so I thought I got to use these on a card and it's perfect for a masculine themed challenge card, right? There we go. What guy doesn't like hot dogs? I don't know. I know my husband likes hot dogs and he doesn't get to eat them a lot. You know, I kind of say that that's kind of like a camp food. You know, we have a, I guess it's a house by the lake, but you know, in Northern Ontario, we call them camps. 
and we go down there on the weekend and um, I do buy hot dogs a few times a year at camp for him but it's not something that we have all the time because you know they're really not that great for you but you know you got to have fun sometimes <laughs> right okay so this is from our banner dies Jada Blossom's banner dies and I cut that out of American Crafts yellow cardstock so it's a little bit textured and I'm just using art glitter glue to apply to the back to that banner you know trying to make it look like it's a birthday card right like a party and I'm just going to add that to the top right hand corner of my card and I'm just sort of applying it and I will be trimming off um, the little string so there is five little flags on the card there we go and then I will just trim off the string there and then there you go perfect so that's all stuck down nice so there we go so now I'm going to create my little sentiment there so I'm just trying to see where it's going to go as you can see I use my mini tag dies three to cut that out um, but I'm going to be trimming off the one side that hangs over the card so it'll be flat on one side and fishtailed on the other so I'm just going to build up the one side or I guess the bottom part of that tag because I'm going to be layering it over my sentiment and over one of my images actually and there we go I'm just you know adding a little bit of layers there just to try and make it a little bit more even and that works out so I will add a little bit of ATG tape there and then we will stick that down so this is actually in real time I didn't bother speeding it up today so this is really me making this card now obviously I pre-colored the images and that took some time you know but um I don't even remember how long it took because like I said this is this was a long time ago so now I'm going to trim off the overhang there with a pair of scissors um, and then it will so it'll be flat on one side and then you will have the you know the fish tail on the other there we go and also what it does is it co covers the writing because because this was an advertisement page for this um, paper paper set the reminisce food truck 12 inch line it kind of had like the hot dog paper like a number on there it's actually covering that with the tag so it works out perfectly so I'm going to be popping up this hot dog with some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. And I, I don't waste it. I, I use the, the whole edge always. And that's what I'm doing. I kind of cut up the edges and, and I'm using that on this hot dog. So I'm going to apply the Dimensionals, the Stampin' Up! Dimensionals to the top. And then I will add a little bit of Art Glitter Glue to the bottom because I will be tucking that under the tag a little bit. There we go. So kind of cute. So it's flat on the bottom, but popped up on the top. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with my ketchup bottle. Isn't that cute? Too cute. So I'll apply like the art glitter glue on the bottom and some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals on the top of that um, little ketchup bottle. And then, you know, it'll have some dimension there. So kind of fun. And like I said, this is a nice, easy card for the guys in your life. Although, honestly, a girl would love this too. It's kind of, you know, I would call this card more gender neutral than masculine. But there's no pink, you know, pink rhinestones or glitter or anything like that so you know you're set so there we go so we will be tucking that in and then there is my little Im my little images put together now you know I always say make a little nest for your images well that's what I'm doing right here so now I'm adding on some stars the stars were cut using the banner dies those are the two smaller ones and then the larger outline one that is from our star dies from Jada Blossom and I'll be using that too those were all cut out out of American Crafts cardstock but obviously I had the texture side up um, same with the banners texture side up but with the sentiment I have the texture side down so you can get clear stamping so I'm just going to double layer up this little star and I'm just trying to figure out where to trim off the overhang just so it's a little bit more level right it's not perfect but you know it gave it a little bit a little bit more it made made it a little more level so it doesn't look so wonky lying there so I'm just using a pencil just to you know just so I know where to trim it off then I will layer those stars with my art glitter glue and apply them to my card front so like I said easy peasy stuff so definitely come along and play you know play along with our challenge over at Jaded Blossom at the Jaded Blossom blog um, there'll be a spot to link it up it's really easy to do you know and like I said we love to see your product or your projects 
Um, we like to check out what people are making. It, you know, it gives us all crafty ideas, right? Also lets us know what people, are, you know, what sets people really like. The ones that people own the most of, you know, they, they tend to use those a lot. Like for me, I use, I use those banner dies and the card mat dies, dies like all the time. All the time. You guys are probably sick of seeing it, but I, I just like them. I think it's fun. There we go. So I'm just going to, you know, make sure the glue's not getting all over the place. And then we will get to completing the card. So, you know, like I said, easy peasy stuff. You'll want to check out the Jada Blossom blog because the Jada Blossom design team always knocks it out of the park and gives you lots of ideas for the challenge. There we are. I'm going to round the upper right-hand corner with my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper, the half-inch one. Just for, you know, just for something different. Now I'm using Doodlebug's Shape Sprinkles. These are called Halloween Night, and I'm going to be using the black ones just because it kind of goes with what I have going on. When I buy Shape Sprinkles from Doodlebug, I, I never use them for what they're intended for. <laughs> you know, this is Halloween Night. This is not a Halloween card. It's just, you know, they match, and that's what I'm going for. So I'm going, going to be sprinkling these all over the banner. I thought about putting them, you know, perfectly aligned on the banner, but I thought, how that's not going to be very much fun. So I decided to kind of sprinkle them along, using my pen blade there to get them off that acetate sheet. And it gives me a little bit more control, because, you know, my fingers, I can't, you know, a sticky star, that's, that's just going to be stuck to my shirt or something knowing my luck. There we go. So kind of cute. Now I'm pulling out my favorite. These are the shape sprinkles called I See You. And they're little eyeballs. And I'm going to, of course, make my hot dog and my ketchup bottle like people, of course, right? Now you could have stamped a face on these on these um, images. There are face stamps from Jada Blossom. But I really wanted just to add little eyeballs because, you know, I just, I love these eyeballs. Now you could add googly eyes whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat, right? And then we're going to get those little googly eyes on, or not googly eyes, little, I guess they're just shape sprinkle eyes, right? But so cute. There we go. So now on the inside, I'm going to add a one inch strip of American Crafts black cardstock. And I'm using my Stampin' Up uh, pad underneath um, to line up my card just so I can line up my black piece of cardstock and keep it straight. I have a hard time doing that. So there we go add a little bit of ATG tape. I will add my one inch strip. Try, try to keep things straight. There we go. And I'm going to be pulling in the sticker sheet that came with that food truck 12 inch paper line from Reminisce. And um, you know, the sticker has the hot dogs and it says hot dog, hot dog, like sort of repeated across it. I just thought it was kind of cute. And I thought I'm gonna use that on the inside of my card. There it is. So there's the hot dogs. I'm going to use that strip of paper and I will cut it off and put my leftover back on that sheet, you know, to use for another card. There we go. So now I'm going to put that strip in. You'll notice I kind of put it towards the bottom of the black strip, but I just wanted to use the black strip to make it pop. So I'm just going to trim off the end. There we go. Leave it, you know, slightly longer than the um, card width. And then I can trim both of them off at the same time, the black um, the black piece and the sticker. There we are. So easy stuff. Like I said, flip it over. I will use my EK Success scissors to trim off the extra. And there we are. Fun stuff. So now I've got one more little yellow star left. That is the inside of that um, outline star that I added to the front of my card. And I'm going to add that to the inside because why not, right? Let's not waste it. Did all that die cutting with your Gemini machine. Let's take advantage of it. So there we go. So fun stuff. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, find out all the rules, join in on the challenge. We would love to see what you make and make sure to tag us on social media. We'd love to see your stuff there. And that's about all. So thank you so much for watching my videos. Hopefully we will see you soon in the next one. Bye everyone.